DVD documentary. One of the things we push in the master of ceremony is that the whole vibration of the Italian war with uh, the with the Italian the Italian Ethiopian war is symbolic of many aspects of the crucifixion of going into the amenta and of course the resurrection going into the maya the watery world from the 5th of may cinco de maya from the 5th of may to the 5th of may 36 19 to 41 19 1936 to 1941 5th of may to the 5th of may we use that science to show that this is symbolic of the five bleeding wounds that Christ bore. Christ is said to have borne five bleeding uh, wounds. It's not religion, really. It's high science because we have highlighted the Southern Cross, one of the most beautiful constellations out there, neat and nice with the, the fifth bleeding wound in her left side, Epsilon while the false cross, the one in the ship, has the fifth bleeding wound in the right side. We've covered these things. We've covered these things. So, so the king kissed the cross. It's a high science. I mean, come on. It's seen on the oldest religious writing, the, the, the pyramid text of Unas. You see the cross, whatever it means, you see the cross. So I'm just showing you now that the symbol given to it as such crucifixion as such but it's resurrection too and if you understand listen to me good eh if you understand what was at stake when emperor haile selassie the first had to address the league of nations now i'm speaking i'm sure i'm speaking to the choir and if you're new we have so many things that preceded this video here that trust me, you can check it out. But we're not gonna labor on certain points that I'm that that we've covered so many times in a circle and a circle and a circle. Good to refresh yourself, but we got to advance now. We got to advance now. The emperor, hmm, during the time when he addressed the League of Nations, when we really comprehend what was going on, yes, we all know all the African countries at one time or the other you know was robbed of a certain level of independence and or colonialized even liberia i, I know people try to put it with ethiopia but the, the politics is not the same for sure come on the politics is not the same so ethiopia stands out not just as an african country but as a country in the world I think there's only one other country that was never colonialized. One of those um, South, no, not no. It's one of those South um, Asian countries. I'm sorry I mentioned it. I can't pull it out. Uh, if it's not Malaysia, I'm, oh man, I'm real sorry. Eh? But I'll find out and bring that back because I, I I came across that information. You know, one of those countries that have two names. Oh man, I'm sorry that. But anyway, so when it comes to Ethiopia, though, at that time, we have to comprehend eh, that the 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 the, uh, the loss of independence for Ethiopia would have closed the door on the colonialization of Africa. That would be it, and practically the world. As I said, it's Europe really that didn't. Uh, uh, it was Europe doing the colonializing. But in fact, Europe colonialized some of Europe too. <laughs> really, when you really look at all of it like that. So when Haile Selassie appeared before the League of Nations eh, and he spoke to them about what was taking place in Ethiopia, and of course the audience should understand how it came to that point. Haile Selassie in his wisdom, his wise mind, the dome of wise mind, the wisdom. He brought Ethiopia into the League of Nations even before he was emperor. And bringing Ethiopia into the League of Nations at that time as, as, as Rastafari 
Now he became emperor in 1930. And remember, the League of Nations was really the League of Europe. Yeah. But they had certain protocols and standards. Article 16, as we showed you, Asar cut into 16 pieces. Article 16, which, which speaks specifically of collective uh, security supposedly for surety that was the article that was ripped into that was the article that the emperor addressed in our book uh the the, the heavens declare the glory we show you the science in in kemet that shows asa cut into 16 pieces and as some will be saying 14 but that, i mean we clarify that we can't spend five minutes on that now but you can read the book and see that in the book the the heavens declare the glory Rastafari and the cosmos because Haile Selassie represents the Asar the character Asar in mythology it has, and that's the power of our mythos you know we, we it's prophecy so the Asar has come in flesh the same Asar that 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 72 came at the coronation that same Asar who was cut into article 16 pieces that same Asar that, that 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 spent exactly five years in the underworld that same asa that came out and, and and became sapu the orion constellation that same asa in flesh is emperor haile selassie the first so the so the the exact five years in the underworld again is the 5th of may 1936 to the 5th of may 1941 anybody can run from that eh? just me the fifth day and the fifth month too five bleeding wounds so when you comprehend what took place within that time frame 